Taking forward our efforts to further promote the IFSC, I hereby propose to provide that income of a non-resident from offshore derivative instruments or over-the-counter derivatives issued by an offshore banking unit, income from royalty and interest on account of lease of ship and income received from portfolio management services in IFSC shall be exempt from tax subject to specified conditions. Rationalization of surcharge. In the globalized business world, there are several works, work contracts whose terms and conditions mandatorily require formation of a consortium. The members in the consortium are generally companies. In such cases, the income of these AOPs has to suffer a graded surcharge up to 37%, which is a lot more than surcharge on the individual companies. Accordingly, I propose to cap the surcharge of these AOPs at 15%, 15%. Further, the long-term capital gains on listed equity shares, units, etc., are liable to maximum surcharge of 15%, while other long-term capital gains are subjected to a graded surcharge, which goes up to 37%. I propose to cap the surcharge on long-term capital gains arising on transfer of any type of assets at 15, 1,5%. This step will give a boost to startup community and along with my proposal on the extended tax benefits to manufacturing companies and startups uh, reaffirms our commitment to Atmanirbhar Bharat. Clarification in relation to health and education says as business expenditure. The income tax is not an allowable expenditure for computation of business income. This includes tax as well as surcharges. The health and education says is imposed as an additional sur surcharge on the taxpayer for funding specific government welfare programs. However, some courts have allowed health and education cess as business expenditure, which is against the legislative intent. To reiterate the legislative intent, I propose to clarify that any surcharge or cess on income and profits is not allowable as business expenditure. Deterrence against 